for this data, we are going to talk about the causes and the type of extinction and the action to be done by preserve and conserve the remaining critical endangered species. Do you know the Philippine tarsier? Did you know that million years ago, tarsier have inherited rainforests around the world? But now, they exist on only few islands in the Philippines, Brunei, and Indonesia. We are very lucky because in Bohol, Philippine tarsier was a common sight to behold in the southern part of the Philippine island. Do you also know the Philippine eagle? Philippine eagle is a giant bird of prey, a monkey eater that can be only seen in the four islands in the Philippines, such as Luzon, Samar, Leyte, and Mindanao. It is considered as one of the largest and most powerful among or forest raptors. Sad to say, those animals are in verge of extinction. They are now considered as endangered animals. What is extinction? Extinction is the last individual member of the species dies. Therefore, it is when no more same species that is existing. The extinction of species can be caused by two factors, either be natural cause due to the environmental factors and anthropogenic cause which are factors made by humans. Natural causes of extinction First, change in landscape because of the global warming and the climate change. Second, it can be caused by the meteor impact and the cosmetic radiation just like what happened on the extinction of dinosaur caused by meteor impact. And lastly, it is caused by extreme heating and cooling of the earth's surface. Most of the mass extinction that occurs in the history of life here on earth are caused by these natural causes. Anthropogenic causes of extinction First, is the habitat destruction. Habitat destruction is considered as the primary causes of extinction wherein it is connected to the different activities of humans such as deforestation and oil spill. Second, we have invasive species. Those are species of either plants and animals that were introduced by humans for economic purposes. The third case is due to population growth of humans. There are more humans who need consumption of different resources. It results over exploitation wherein more resources are being over harvested way beyond on what is really needed. We also have population. Let us trace the different ways of how human causes population and their destruction of the environment. First is acid rain. Acid rain is produced due to the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. This sulfur dioxide emission comes primarily from smoke coming from vehicles and factories controlled by humans. Another kind is the depletion of ozone layer caused by the different chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs found in the refrigerants such as air conditioning units and refrigerators. And lastly, eutrophication. It is due to the excessive buildup of nutrients within the bodies of water. Because of this, the amount of dissolved oxygen tends to lessen, and when it's lesser, amount of dissolved oxygen in the water, most of the aquatic species found within those bodies of water tends to die, resulting to a fish killing.